Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel, it's Jo here, I hope you're all well, if you're new here, welcome, I hope you enjoy, I do craft videos as well as hauls, so yeah, we'll get into today's video, so today's project, I wanted to do a small miniature scene, I like the idea of using some of the trees that I made in my video before this, so if you want to see how to make the trees, that video is the one before this one, and this is the first time I've done a miniature scene like this, so I hope it gives you some ideas, I'm not an expert in it, but I'll show you how I did it so these are the trees like I said I made them in the previous video to this and that's what gave me the idea for doing this craft and I'm using one of these cardboard rings that I picked up in Asda they were just left on the side they were in between some pans and I asked if I could take some and they said yes but you could use anything that you wanted a picture frame or a little tray but I'm just going to trace around the inside on a old cardboard box I'm going to do this twice just to make sure that there's a little bit of stiffness to it, glued it together and now I'm just going to push this in where I want it. So I'm just going to use my fingers to get it to the height that I want. I want to leave about half a centimetre um, gap at the top so that once I put all my flock or fake snow, I was originally planning on using fake snow in this but I didn't end up using any and it's just to give it a little bit of depth so that I can add some more stuff to it and it doesn't all fall out. Just going to use my glue gun to glue around the outside i'm going to do the top section first and then once it's dry i'm going to turn it over and do exactly the same underneath as well this ring is about six inches in diameter so it's fairly small but big enough that i can get the detail on it that i want now the cardboard's in place, I can start to draw out how I want my design to be. So I want there to be quite large rocks at the back and then it kind of comes out to a bit of a clearing where I can have a small bench and I'm just drawing roughly where I want to put my rocks and my trees and the pathway where it's going to lead to the clearing. Once I've got my pathway, I'm just drawing roughly where I want to add my rocks. I ended up adding more in the end, but to start off with, this is the section that I wanted to use for my rocks. And then for the rocks, I'm going to be using tinfoil. So these two sections that I'm just shading in here is where I'm going to put my tinfoil. And I'm just going to take off quite large sections and roll them up into some shapes and then glue these in place until I'm happy with them. Once I've got my rough shape of my rocks, I'm going to then just use my fingers to make some crevices and cracks and just add a little bit more detail to how I want the rocks to be. So once my rocks are in the shape that I want, I'm going to use some tissue paper to cover them with some PVA glue and water. I've used the same amount of water as the PVA glue and this is just to completely cover all the tin files so that it's easier to paint with the acrylic paints.
So this is where I decided I wanted to add some more rocks. So I'm going to add some more tin foil and then cover it with the tissue paper and let it dry. And once everything is dry, I'm going to start to add some more details. I'm just using some little bits of polystyrene cups that I've cut into cobblestones. And I'm just going to put these every now and again on the pathway up to where the clearing is. I don't want a lot of them because I'm going to be having quite a lot of flock in between it. So I'm going to leave quite large gaps and it's just to add a little bit of extra detail to the finished piece. So now that cobblestones are in place, I'm going to paint it black. I'm going to do underneath the base in black acrylic paint and then I'm going to use the same paint to do the top, all the rocks and the cobblestones and the pathway. I'm going to leave the outside of the ring for now because I'm not too sure what colour I'm going to do it. In the end, I decided to go with dark green, but at this point I wasn't so sure. So I'm just going to paint all that and let it dry. So now it's all painted in black except from the outside of the ring. I decided to add some brown paint to the pathway. This was just to cover the black so that it didn't show through any of the flock. I wasn't too sure how much flock I was going to put on so I just thought I better put this underneath it just in case. So I'm just going to do a couple of coats of the brown and let that dry. So now that everything's dry, we can start to paint the rocks. I started off with a really dark grey colour. I mixed some white with some black and I'm going to completely cover all the rocks in this dark grey and the cobblestones as well and let it dry. And then I'm going to continue to add white paint to the grey paint that I've already got to make it lighter. I'll make it a little bit lighter than this grey and then I'm going to dry brush over the top of the rocks and the cobblestones and then I'll add Add some more white to it to make it a little bit lighter again and do the same process repeatedly until I get to a very light grey. I'm going to do that, let it dry between each coat and hopefully I'll end up with a rock colour texture. So here are the rocks and I'm happy with how they've turned out and now I get to do the fun part of adding some of the flock and moss and this is from the model sceneriesuppliers.co.uk. I'm using a dark green and a grass blend. I think I paid just under £3 for each of these and I got them quite a while ago and I've used them for many different projects 
and I'm going to cover the pathway in PVA glue and I'm going to use the dark green first and fill in all the gaps around the cobblestones and at the clearing at the front of the diorama. Now that all the dark green is in place I'm going to add some of the lighter green over the tops of the rocks and I'm also going to sprinkle it over the dark green that I've already put in place before I seal it all. Once I'm happy with where all my flock is, I'm going to seal this in place using a mixture of water and PVA glue in a spray bottle. I've added a little bit of washing up liquid so that it doesn't clog the bottle up. And I'm just going to spray all this, let it dry overnight, and this will dry hard so that the flock and the moss won't fall off as I move it. I then painted it in a light green around the outside and I wasn't happy with it so I've now got a mixture of sap green and some black acrylic paint and I tried to match the colour of the trees. I'm just going to go over the green paint that I've already put in place and do two coats and let it dry and then we can start to work on the bench. So for the bench I'm using matchsticks. I want the bench to be one inch wide so i'm just measuring four matchsticks to one inch and i'm just going to cut these using a craft knife then once i've got my four strips at an inch i'm going to glue these together to form the seats of the bench just using my glue gun to do this Then I've cut two strips of matchstick to half an inch and I'm going to use these for the back of the bench. I'm just going to glue one at each side, just a little bit in from the end. And then for the back of the bench, I've got two matchsticks that again I've cut to one inch wide and I'm going to glue them at the top with a slight gap in between each of them at the back. So the last thing is the legs. I'm going to glue these one in each corner underneath the seat of the bench and these are half a centimetre in length. And then to finish off, I'm using a light brown acrylic paint and I want to make sure that I completely cover the bench underneath at the back and all the sides and let it dry. Now that the bench is dry, I'm going to glue it into position on my base. And then the last thing to do is to add the trees. I'm going to give them a bit of a trim before I put them in the places that I want, making sure that they're the shape that I want. And all I'm going to do with the trees is add a little bit of hot glue to the bottom of them and glue them to the base. And then once the trees are in place, it is completely finished and we can have a proper look at what it looks like.
good here it is so this is it finished i'm absolutely over the moon with it for my first like outdoor miniature scene i'm really impressed with it i love it i'm so happy with how the rocks came out and the trees and i'm looking forward to doing more in the future i want to make a matching piece to go with this kind of similar the same size and using one of the rings but i want to do more like of a river uh, river scene so i'll do that hopefully at the beginning of next year but i will be back on monday with another craft video so until then i hope you all have a wonderful weekend take care look after yourselves and i'll see you then bye for now